Some people were born to dance. Greg Mosgala is not one of them. But this dance has changed Greg's life in ways he could never have imagined. From the time of five, I just remember being told the prognosis was that I was going to be in a wheelchair by the time I was 40. Greg was born with cerebral palsy. Until age 12, he often wore leg braces, but neither braces nor doctors helped his awkward way of moving. I'm trying yeah, to envision you when you turn said... turn your foot in like that, right. and then just drag the heck out of it the across the ground. You, you were familiar yeah, it was with. like a... Like right. a Cerebral palsy is a disorder in which the brain has been injured so that it sends the wrong signals to the body's muscles. There is no known cure. There's actually nothing uh, muscularly wrong with my body or there's no deformity. And structurally. And structurally, yeah. It's so my, just nerves talking to muscles mm -hmm. and not connecting in the right way. Right, it's bad communication. Look, love, what envious streaks do lace the severing clouds in yonder east. Greg became an actor, often performing with a company that features disabled actors. It was probably the best Romeo I ever saw. And that's where Tamar Rogoff first saw Greg in a performance of Romeo and Juliet. Every reaction he had was in his body. Like, he'd be nodding, and I could see his chest moving, and he's looking at Juliet, and just really, like, his whole body was there. You could say Tamar's life's work is about bodies. She's been a choreographer and dance teacher for 25 years. I said, I'd like to work with this particular guy. I almost started laughing, like I couldn't believe it. So it just seemed like a ridiculous concept to right, me. Right, not me. So Yeah, right. First of all, I'm an actor, and secondly, look at me. Greg agreed to work with Tamar for one simple reason. You have to understand, I got involved with this project because it was an opportunity to work. That's, that's all it was. Mm. So I followed. Job. Yeah, it was a job. So early this year, Greg and Tamar began to work together on a dance piece, her choreography inspired by Greg's body. I thought of myself in just two halves, literally. Like, my upper half was fine, more developed, uh, and OK. Mm -hmm. um, and my legs were my lower half, everything was the problem area. That idea of a body in two halves reminded Tamar of the ballet Afternoon of a Fawn, first performed by Nijinsky a hundred years ago. It's about a mythical creature, a person from the waist up, a goat from the waist down. Greg would be Tamar's fawn, but it was clear right away that turning Greg into a dancer wasn't going to be easy. His left shoulder was thrown back, and his heels were up, and he seesawed. He seesawed left and right. I could not maintain my balance. I mean, I, I, I always liked to move, but whenever I danced or moved, it was always moving until I was going to eventually fall down. And his heels never touched the floor, and that's why he would fall. Emily Pope Blackman became one of Greg's dance partners. If we're too close, I can knock him over. If I do something too fast, I can knock him over. I mean, those were things that we learned and in the beginning. And that happened? And that has happened. Greg needed help. To turn him into a dancer, he and Tamar started workouts away from the dance floor. And that's where Greg's body started to change. <sighs> They did several hours a day of intensive sessions, trying to do what doctors never could. They combined a bit of massage and carefully guided movement to teach Greg's brain new possibilities. And then there was what they called shaking. And it looks weird and it doesn't look pretty, but it, <laughs> I mean, it works. It was working. His right. heels hit the ground for the first time in his life. My heels are down. I'm not, like, dragging my foot. Right. And there were times when I'd be walking or doing something, and I'm like, do people feel like this all the time? The amount of sensation has changed so much. Um, it's incredible. Greg and Tamar have regularly checked in with Dr. Stephen Paget, the physician-in-chief at New York's Hospital for Special Surgery, who's been amazed at Greg's progress. 
What Tamar has done here with Greg is basically try to retrain his neurologic system to work in a more normal fashion. Dr. Paget says there's a growing awareness that the brain can change and even adapt. Before this type of amazing transformation, uh, people would just learn to live with it and make their compensations, and they would just try to get on. Now we can see, especially if this can be taught to others, that there is hope. Hope, but still not a cure for cerebral palsy. This weekend, Greg made his debut as a dancer. Performances began in a Manhattan theater of diagnosis of a fawn. It deals with the intersection of medicine and art. But for Greg Mosgala, it's more than that. It's the story of a dancer whose body, once split in two, has come together as one. Thank you.